I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, River. You still here then? Oh yeah. Got the companion app up. Why don't you get off and see my view? Wait, what am I doing? You're drawing down there. Oh, that's what I thought. <clears throat> Look for a man.
Right there. How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Get off your horse. Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, Lock sure. Onto him? Just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Oops. <laughs> Why don't you pull your weapon back? Just put it on your fish. I cannot hear you, buddy. Put it on your fish. To where you don't shoot on accident. To go to your weapon wheel. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find <coughs> out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay. Oh, I'll take you first person. Train should be here any minute now. You shouldn't have it, you. That includes you, Arthur? Wait, where are we supposed to go? Hold L1. Switch the item. Wheel. R1. R1. What's it want me to do? R1. Cover your face. It's Arthur. I just did. What the? You're not putting it on. Release. L1. That's that's what I did. <laughs> I did that several times. It's Gentlemen, the train. It's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do.
Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. Right. Stop crouching. Jump up. How do we get up there? Kill that bastard. Let's keep moving. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <sighs> I don't like first person. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that was terrible. There are funny ways to die in here. I couldn't see. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I forgot. I think you're supposed to jump. Oh, I was hitting the button. I'm way past the point. I'm in the woods. This train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? My gun won't come up. There it goes. You have to reload it. Let's keep moving. You're not dead. Jump back on. Okay, now you're dead. Alright, I'm starting to lose my uh Want me to do it? No, I don't. Thank you though. Cause I would stop using your uh, gun and use a pistol. It's way easier. So glad that you're here to help me. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Uh, you cover me. Okay. Got 
Too many buttons. That's not a bunch of shit. special way to show the you have no more of your day Still okay? You don't have enough break out. Good. You have to eat food. Damn, Who is this guy? Or good kid. Or kill enough people. Where the hell are you? Don't so shoot them. Up here for this. <laughs> Get over here. Go to your food. You two all right? And eat some yes, of the dry stuff. Get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. Come on, boys. We got our okay, you asked for it. We Five, open in this door. four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in this here, is awesome. I want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now, light the fuse. <clears throat> Unless you've got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. No, I've seen it. It's all the way in the back. Well, you two got the safe? Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Two thousand? Uh, must be a lot. Getting there. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. <clears throat> 
just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Oh, yeah, that's fine, all right, Peter. It's in the other one behind you. Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. Come on, man. Bed down. These just seem to be There's contracts. nothing down there. Arthur, have you looked down the No. Oh no, my gosh, stop it. No. Urgh. Just forget the cigar. Keep looking. There must be something. You can't get the straw. That cabinet. It's in there. <coughs> no, this looks like something. Think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. It's about them. What do you think? I don't know. It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. What are you doing? Playing game. Alright, I need to go. Where'd you go? Where's your brother? <coughs> you got the train, Dad. Joshua. Yes? Where's your brother? Sleeping. What exactly are you doing? You're spotter or something? What? Spotting people or No, I'm speaking. I'm passing the point. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, let me get rid of this train and then we can call it a day. Don't shoot this next part, it's best part. 
I didn't mean to shoot that guy that time. I was just going to make him get on the train and send the train away, but... Yeah, that's what I did. I accidentally shot him. <laughs> this next part, the music is... It's glorious. Uh, I like the music. That's glorious. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. This is when you go to the woods. And we just robbed a Leviticus corn ball <laughs> It's the worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine's. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is...
farmlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. But what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you.
brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Yeah. 
Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. 